Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. And today we'll be discussing about how we could actually get the geolocation device information of an Android device by using social engineering attack as well as technical attack. And of course, in today's case, we'll be using a wonderful tool that can actually help us fake the Google Drive access and the file sharing. And once the user gets social engineered, they would actually click on allow access. And once they click on allow access, immediately we'll be able to gain a lot of critical information, including the geolocation of the Android device. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So on the left side of the screen, I actually have Kali Linux running. And on the right side of the screen, I have a Android mirroring into the desktop. So this is a live Android device. So the past couple of tutorials, I was using a virtual Android device and there was a lot of questions about the IP address being one that is provided by the internet service provider. So in this case, we are using mobile data. So over here, you can actually see that we have the mobile data being selected instead of the Wi-Fi. Because if you're using Wi-Fi, then of course, the internet service provider IP address will be the one in use. So the first thing you can do is open up terminal. And of course, we can zoom in a little on Kali Linux and we can enter ifconfig to see the internal IP address. And of course, in this case, the internal IP address is 192.168.1.14. And of course, once you have the internal IP address, we can actually go into the home page where I have downloaded Seeker. So I can go into CD Seeker and we can enter ls-l. So over here, we can actually see all the information regarding Seeker. So of course, there was a couple of things that we wanted to try. So if you put dot slash seeker, for example, dot py running on Python, go ahead and hit enter on that. And of course, it's checking for updates, checking on the servio status. And of course, in this case, the servio status is down. So in order for us to get this working, we have to select the manual option. So by entering dot slash seeker dot Python and followed by dash T and followed by manual, followed by dash K, followed by test KML, and you can hit enter on that immediately. And once you have hit that enter, it will check for updates. But in this case, you will manually run your ng rock service, which is why we've been using a lot of ng rock and we have even started a ng rock tutorial for you so that you can understand how ng rock works. So of course, we will actually select number two on Google Drive. And of course, we can actually enter the file URL. I'm just gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six. Hit enter on that. And of course, it will start up the PHP server. So I can actually go ahead and open up another terminal for us to start ng rock. So remember to look out for the ng rock tutorial that has been uploaded, I think, just a couple of days back. So those will be very, very helpful information for you to understand about how ng rock works, tunneling, and so on. So moving forward, all we got to do is enter, go into the homepage where we have ng rock, enter dot slash ng rock, followed by the port or the protocol of HTTP followed by port 8080. Hit enter on that and we'll get the information regarding the domain name. So of course here we have the domain name and of course we can go into our routers gateway. So make sure you go on the firewall configuration on the port forwarding and make sure you got the port 8080 all the way back into your local IP address of 192.168.1.14. And once you're done with that, Going back to call Linux, we can actually open up Firefox, for example, and we can key in the IP address of the forwarding. So we can enter HTTP slash slash 908A8FB0.ngrock.io. Hit enter on that, and we will be furnished with the site. And of course, in this case, we will actually see the site of Google Drive, and you can click Request Access. And of course, because it is a social engineering technique, you can click share and of course you can click allow or deny and whichever it is the case. So of course this would actually allow the site to capture your geolocation. So again, a lot of social engineering to be coupled together with the geolocation to identify information about the target address. And of course, in this case, we can actually go back and look at the seeker and we can see device information we can look at the operating system the linux platform the cpu course that is running on the gpu the firefox version and so on and of course here we can actually get the latitude and longitude of the information so this is really really helpful and we can actually copy the link of the google maps and we can actually go under firefox and once we go into firefox we can just right click paste and go and we can actually immediately get the longitude and latitude information regarding the mobile device in question. So I understand that there's a lot of confusion 
about the precise location of the Android device or the mobile device as a whole. And of course, what happened is that depending on what kind of network protocols that you're using, some internet service provider may be using some kind of sub networking or some of the mobile devices could be connected into the wireless internet to a different access point. And all these could pinpoint to a very separate geolocation of the exact position of the mobile devices, which is why some of your results could be very different. So these are some things to take note of, especially if you want to be able to get precise information regarding the mobile device. So I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.